My God, some see dry bones. We see an army prophesy. Speak to the dry bones. Speak to the things in your life or speak to the things in your region. Begin to prophesy. Decree and declare life. My God, the word prophecy, guys. To utter by or as if by divine inspiration to predict with assurance or on the basis of mystic knowledge. Yeah, we've got the mystic knowledge. Hallelujah. The word of God, the book of Mark says, if you speak to the mountain, listen, we don't go around the mountain. We go through the mountain. Have faith in God. If you say be thou removed to this mountain, it shall be done for you and cast into the sea now. Before I continue, it'd be an honor if you're new, please subscribe. How many need some mountains or some valleys that need to be wasted? How many how many need some things to be shifted and moved around? How many things out how many people out there there's some things in your life or in your region, your church? My God, that seemed to be dead. But I'm telling you to prophesy. Hit the amen button, the like button, the thumbs up, and the comments. Say, I'm going to prophesy alongside with you, Brother Rob. I'm going to prophesy and speak forth the oracles of God. Now, I'm live every Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern, live stream, YouTube. My God, the Lord's being moving. People are being touched. And we're taking it one step further. Mountain Moving Thursdays Zoom. I'm calling it Mountain Moving Thursdays. I just got that. I just felt that it's called. That would be 8 p.m. every Thursday Zoom. The ID to get in the Zoom is 513-302-8285. I will pin it in the comments now. If you come on the Zoom, you can just receive, chill, hang out. You don't have to release your video, your audio, or you can partake and pray, prophesy, preach. My God, do whatever the Lord tells you to do. We trust that you've been groomed. Ezekiel chapter 37. Come on, let's go. Hallelujah. One of the most powerful, potent portions of, of Scripture in the Word of God. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the Spirit set me down in the midst of a valley, and it was full of bones. So Ezekiel's in a bit of a, you know, a buy. He says, my God, what do I do here? I'm brought down in a valley of death. There's no life here. It's dry bones. Nothing can come from this. It seems to be over with. Then he caused me to pass by all around, and behold, there were very many. The, they were very dry. So before they were dry, now they're very dry. It's gone from bad to worse. He said, son of man, can these bones live? He said, oh, Lord God, you know. I don't even know if he could answer Ezekiel. He says, do you know? I don't know. You know. Again, he said, prophesy to the bones and say, oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. My God, guys, the word of the Lord, that rhema word, carries power, carries weight. What do we speak to the mountain? What do we speak to the dry bones in the valley? The word of God. Find your word. Find your decree in the word. A now word for you in season and begin to declare it. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. So I prophesied as I was commanded, there was a noise and suddenly a rattling. The bones came together, So, but there was no life. It was just a skeleton at that point, but there was no breath in them. Verse 9, he said, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man, say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded, and breath came into them, they lived and stood on their feet, an exceeding great army. How many out there, under the sound of my voice, you are part of the end time remnant, the radical remnant. 
the army of the Lord and you're being enlisted right now, come on, enlist yourself. Say, I'm in the army of the Lord. Say, yes, yeah, sometimes it could look like dry bones, but we see an army. Now, I'm telling you what I've been seeing, guys. The church, within the church, the remnant is getting radical and on fire. I'm noticing in the region even I'm in. In the region I'm in, I'm seeing a church within the church that's radical, a radical remnant. I'm, I'm stoked, I'm psyched, I'm pumped about that because it's exciting to see on fire radical saints. My God, some of these people have been through stuff. Your head would spin, but they keep going for Jesus the Christ. Hey, the Lord bless you guys. Amen. Hallelujah.